Hi, uh, welcome to my C++ program. In this C++ program, I've actually used a different method within the conditional statement, and uh, as just the if statement. So, as you can see up there, I've been given an option to select M for multiplication or just C to select uh, any form of calculation. If I select lowercase m or uppercase m, this is what I end up with. So the system is now asking me to enter number to be multiplied. So let's say I select 8 and that's what you see to give me 8 times table. So let me go back if I run the program again well, let, let's say I run this pro so that is it right there and uh, select C I will be prompt to enter whatever number I intend to calculate alright and that gives you the answer I'll show you how I put together this program so that uh, if you want to write something similar at least you will have an idea so let's go to the coding area so the first thing I did was to import the input and output string then uh, I have my using name space standard in place function declared Okay, and here these are the following integer that I declared here I have my function so I have a char there for character and I have my option there or choice I also have my choice there here is the color for my output and that's just my statements asking or telling the user what to do I have used this character N for new line and T for tab so I think I'm going to just let me copy this I will need it somewhere else now this is my character this character here I converted it to integer so that I can use the ASCII notation here so whatever I enter here this is for M and this is uh, this is uppercase letter M and this is lowercase letter M okay for you guys uh, for those of you who are used to ask a notation you cannot you understand what that means and uh, you enter the number here so let me just paste what I copied in there so that's just to give me a new line and a tab Q as enter number whatever number I entered is assigned to variable Q okay now this is my this loop we actually generate 1 to 12 the 1 to 12 that is generated which is letter I right here is multiplied by the number that I entered here okay which is Q and equals to I that is generated multiplied by Q and that is the instant here that is it there the answer will come out here now that's a new line. This means pause or as the system will flash in your eye and you won't see nothing. So the, if you choose to select the calculation option, what will happen is exactly the same thing. Well this is letter C in uppercase, letter C in lowercase you enter the first number 
okay or well, let's just say enter first number and enter your second number right there okay first number is assigned to variable a second number is assigned to variable b the result of a and b is right here okay and you have the option of continuing or not if you choose that y is converted into an integer and I look at uh, assign back to y lowercase and uppercase letter y and that's it guys so if you want to write something similar as it right is I'm just going to show you the codes one more time okay so I believe you've seen it up to somewhere here so let's move it up let's see that now up again so that's the end of the code so I will now compile and run go to execute compile and build there we go now guys so supposing it's a multiplication enter uppercase M number to be multiplied let's give us the 12 times table and that is that okay so that's how you write an optional program within C++ using if statement for loop to generate your multiplication timetable okay guys I'm gonna call it a day so if you want to develop something similar let me know I will actually copy and paste this code within my shared within my shared drive if you have any need for it you can just send me an email and I'll forward it to you so you have a nice day